Danish Prime Minister Mette Frederiksen tendered her resignation on Wednesday, after her centre-left bloc secured a narrow victory in an election that saw the participation of 14 political parties. She will now explore options to form a coalition with political partners from across the spectrum in pursuance of her campaign promise to form a political middle coalition with right and left-wing political parties to achieve domestic unity amid international uncertainty caused by inflation and the Ukraine war. The left-aligned coalition secured a one-seat majority, with 90 seats in the 179-seat parliament. Meanwhile, the right-wing bloc secured 73 seats, and the remaining 16 seats were won by the moderates, a newly formed centrist party. Frederiksen has been celebrated for her decisive stand on the Ukraine war after she increased defence spending to counter Russia's invasion. She also paved the way for Denmark's zero refugee immigration policy. While Danes supported her overall handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, her popularity took a hit in 2020 after she ordered the killing of 17 million minks to prevent the spread of the virus to humans and avoid any mutations. A parliamentary commission concluded this year that the government had misled the population by suggesting a link between minks and the COVID outbreak, forcing Frederiksen to call for early elections. Nevertheless, she continues to enjoy huge support among citizens, with a pre-election poll showing that 58% feel she is the best candidate to lead the country. Frederiksen Social Democrats won 28% of the votes and secured 50 seats, the strongest support for the party in 20 years.